Hi, we're Lisa and Bob Carlton with College Match Point. With the class of 2018 applications complete and admissions offers accepted, we wanted to take a couple of minutes and look back on the trends that we saw. Lisa? Well, I think the real word of the season was unpredictable. We saw some really fantastic decisions that we're super excited about. We also though saw a lot more variability in the in the in the decisions this year. So what I mean by that is um, students maybe early in the season for their colleges that they were applying early to might have had more mixed results than we were expecting. They might have gotten into some of their match schools and maybe get deferred at some of them so that we couldn't quite tell how things were going. But then at the very end of the season, they might have gotten accepted in a reach school. So we really saw an inability, I guess, to, to see a trend and a more unpredictable, varied cycle. And I think a lot of that had to do with volume. Yeah, in terms of volume, marketing works. Uh, colleges spend millions of dollars emailing, mailing materials, and as a result, the number of applications has skyrocketed and admissions rates have declined. It, this year, particularly, we also saw an explosion in the size of wait lists. Now, one of the other factors that we saw this year is that the increasing importance of demonstrated interest as a factor for many schools in their evaluation of a student. Now, what is demonstrated interest? In, from a college's perspective, it's their ability to forecast whether or not a student will say yes. Demonstrated interest oftentimes is a factor of whether or not the student has toured the school, met with an admissions rep when they came to the high school, in some cases even opened the email. And actually this year we saw a number of situations where demonstrated interest either made the difference or didn't make the difference for students who apply to a whole host of schools. And I think if we were to say which group of students were most unpredictable this season, um, we would have to say computer science and engineering students. That is really the group that got hit the hardest, I think. Um, and what we really saw is, of course, most of our computer science and engineering kids love those top schools, and we all know them, and, and typically apply to them knowing that they may or may not get in. But to date, what we've been able to do is have that nice middle that for a student with really good grades and good test scores, those schools have been somewhat more predictable. This year, we saw a bit of an erosion of that, that you could not depend necessarily for the computer science and engineering student that that next level was going to be predictable and a definite yes. So I think that was a real challenge for some students that, um, even with what one would have thought as a pretty varied list, um, that as we go into the next year, we have to take those lists and we have to vary them even more because everyone else has figured out that those middle schools are really great schools. And so as Bob talked about with volume, that increased volume at those schools is trickling down, if you will, not to say that they're fantastic schools. So that I think is where unpredictability really hit the engineering and computer science student a bit hard. Closer to home, one of the big changes we saw is that the University of Texas substantially overhauled their essay strategy. What we saw with students is it afforded them the opportunity, and in some cases the challenge, of telling their, stu their story more broadly. The ability to talk about their area of interest academically or career-wise, their leadership, and also to give some context to their academics. Now, Lisa, what impact did you see this for students? Well, I think it was mostly positive, honestly. I think it gave the kids a chance to explain a year where maybe their grades were a little lower or explain why maybe they're not as good at standardized tests. And we actually saw some surprising admissions decisions in the positive that seemed to indicate, of course we won't know until a few more seasons, that those questions really did help our students. So I think from the standpoint of the UT questions, we really felt like things were positive. I think the continued challenge for our students at UT is that selection of the major that really is going to match and that they're going to be able to defend that it matches so their experience matches up with that. But all in all, I felt like things at UT um, were pretty positive for the kids. A note, the competitive majors at UT this year only became even more competitive as the number of applications increased for majors like engineering, computer science, or business. Now to recap, the trends this year were around predictability, demonstrated interest, 
the ability to tell one story, and then finally that STEM, particularly computer science and engineering, are as competitive as they've ever been for students.